Educational Church. Yeah, you can tell what I, where, where I work. Uh, to the Town of Brookfield Selectmen's meeting for Tuesday, the June 20th, 2017. Please stand if you're able to join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. So the first thing out of the box is that the chairman has just alerted us to her family emergency. That's where she is. So it's the plan to, to uh, move as much as we can uh, to Thursday evening. We've uh, rescheduled for Thursday at 6.30 uh, for anything that we cannot uh, handle, handle tonight. So uh, what we will first do is look to approve warrants. I look to a, a motion to approve the uh, withholding warrant of May 17th, 17 of $98,155.76. Look to approve the payroll warrant of June 20th, 17 of $294,151.03. And to approve the expense warrant for June Pardon me, June 20th, 17 of $127,333.05. I'll make the motion to approve all three warrants at the indicated sums. Thank you, and I'll second that. Any discussion? Seeing none, those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. Announcements. Tyler Warren, uh, District 8 of Senator Ann Gobi, will be holding office hours at Brookfield Town Hall from 2 to 3 p.m. Wednesday, June 21st. All are welcome. Public access. Anybody wish to address the board this evening? Seeing none, we'll move off to the agenda. Uh, tonight we have Tom Dorsey, it, correct, uh, to join us to talk about town email, website, and changeover. So we will try to do that because you are here. So come on up and join us. Now, while you're joining us, one of the things that we want to talk about is edit, uh, uh, microphone etiquette. So let's be as clear and concise as we can be with the microphones in the future. We did have some complaints uh, from the local access, so we're going to try to be better at sharing. Thank you. So what do we need to know? Well, uh, over the past year I've worked with uh, Canon Communications. We've got the email system pretty much up and ready to go. Uh, I just talked with them, I believe it was last evening. Um, so right now, within the next couple of days, we'll disseminate the, the new emails and the passwords to all the users, uh, give them a chance to access the, the new email system. If they have any questions, they can contact me. Um, I'll try to answer them the best that I can. It's a fairly new system myself as well, so a little bit of it I'm learning as well. Uh, but I think it'll be an awesome system for the town. To be unlimited email, so that the email boxes won't fill up. So we're going to a cloud, right? Uh, kind of, so, sort of, yeah. Kind of, sort of. Um, so who is the email through again? It's Canon and Canon Communications. It's a uh, smart mail. It's okay, so it's still a smart mail based system. Yes. Yeah. It's a it's a more secure system. You can actually transmit um, encrypted email. Yes. Okay, so, so it's got encryption capabilities. What they've told me is you can actually transmit uh, credit card information between users, uh, and that information will not leave the server. So as long as you don't put a, a, an at symbol indicating it for it to go past the server, it will stay there and it will not go out to the, the internet. Hmm. And, that, and I presume they, they automatically handle the requisite archiving for the state and all that? Yes, it has all the archiving for it and whatnot. Uh, once I learn how that's accessible, then I can pass it on to Karen and, and I'll work with Karen and whoever else that she needs to make sure that they're able to update the emails or make any changes to emails, etc. Uh, most of it will be, all this email setup is pretty much through Canon communications they'll set the emails up and uh, so it's 
it's, it's pretty easy. It's pretty streamlined. If possible, when you're going to train Karen, if you could let me know. I don't know if I can make it or not, but I'd like to uh, at least be informed about yeah. how the system works. Yeah, absolutely. That'd be great. Yep. So the website side of it, yep. what's the action or activity around the website? So Karen and I both discussed about the emails and the website. We decided that it was best that we get the emails fixed first. Uh, get that going. Everybody's been having issues with the email. Yep. So now that we've got that, we have the contract for the website, which I'd like to have signed. Once that's signed, we can move forward with the design and, and getting that going. And that'll be through Virtual Town. It used to be Virtual Town Hall, but it's now Virtual Towns and Cities, or I think it is, or Virtual Town and Schools. It's a professional site. A lot of the communities have gone to it. It allows for individual users to be able to post their information and documents to the website on their own. So you don't need an IT person, per se, to update all that information. Uh, department heads can update their own information. Excellent. Do you know what it's based on? As far as the technology? The I'm, interface for the department heads. I believe it's a, a, for updating and whatnot, I believe it's an email type system where they're able to type a, an email and once they upload it, it, it posts to the website. Like a form, perhaps? Yeah, I believe so. So we get work on that, as far as that. When yeah. we get ready to do that, we'll just say... Well, that's, yeah, the, there's some information in the packet oh. regarding that. The, the contract's actually there. I don't know if we want to address it today or, or, or move that to Thursday as well. I'm, I'm thinking that that's what we want to do. Yes. So, so is there something... So there's a need to, to sign. To move forward with the, with the website, we have to sign the contract. Once it's signed, okay. they will start going to work um, to, to design the website. They will meet with whoever we want to decide what we want as content, how we want to design it, how we want it laid out. So the action for tonight could be a motion that the chair sign. I just want to make sure that this I actually got an opportunity to read through the license agreement and what I had heard uh, via third party does not appear to be oh, accurate. Right. So it appears that the content is actually still owned by us, which is my primary concern, uh, and that we can get the contact, content back if we decide after a year that we're not satisfied with the level of service, we have the option to take our content elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm, I'm actually comfortable with the contract. All right, so then what I do is entertain a motion to sign the contract, the, the chair yeah, sign the contract. You have a motion? Pardon me? Do you? Well, I can make a motion for you to sign, actually. We can just oh, do it tonight. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll make a motion for uh, the vice chair, chair to, sign. to sign the contract. All right. So I'll second that. Anything, any further discussion on that topic? Seeing none, those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. So, six, 20. And Karen has my contact information. You folks have any questions or need any information, feel free to uh, contact me. Uh, usually the best times to get a hold of me is in the evenings. All right. So just the one signature? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, I'll sign both just so. Okay. so. That way they can sign the copy with the original and get us one with the original signatures back. All right. For those of you that have just joined us, just an FYI that Linda has had a family emergency and is not here this evening, so we're going to try to just do only the things that we need to be doing tonight. So that was that topic. Um, all right, so the next time, thank you. Oh, good. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yes. Appreciate Thanks for having me. Thanks for the help with my email. A while back. <laughs> You're very welcome. Appreciate that. Thanks. All right, folks, have a great night. All right, thanks, Tom. So the next thing on the agenda is that we do have a uh, report from UMass on the uh, Javina project or the Campdown project.
where uh, we have identified through the dig portion of the uh, Adena project that, that there uh, are additional features that confirm um, that the campground is in fact uh, a, a historic site. We have two phases left on the uh, activity with Mass Historical to complete the documentation and complete the um, certi certification for uh, it to be recognized as a, a national historic site. So what I've asked for for tonight is a request for the, uh, a motion for the board to, um, ex uh, to pay the phase two uh, bill when it comes in subject to the mass historical um, approval of the phase two report. And are you good with that, Karen? All right, Beth, are you good with the motion that we pay the phase two bill subject to mass historical's approval of the report? I'll, I'll make the motion that we uh, sign, sign that based on the uh, mass historical approval. And second, and any other discussion? And with that, good forward progress. we're getting there. We are absolutely getting there. Uh, so uh, with that, uh, motion to ex accept the motion. Signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. So, Can I ask a question? Sure, David. Yes. Did you have public access at some point? I did. I but, but, yes, and I said public access just before I don't want to leave the agenda. I was very, I even looked at you. But please, join us. I just want to give you Oh, good. Yeah. I'll make it brief. No, no. I, did, I know I you're going to be I, doing appointments. What's that? I know you're going to be doing appointments. We're, we're Maybe, not. but we're not. We're not. So okay. But I'm just giving mail. you a mind. If you want someone on the advisory board that's going to be dedicated and honest and representing the town folk and not the special interest group, you can consider me. But if you want yes. me to, to work strictly for you guys in the special interest group in town, don't put me on if you have an opening. No, thank you for that. Clear? That's clear. Okay, thank so, you. So, so you you continue as I understand it on the planning board. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good. Well, I mean elected. That's a yep. fixed term. Yep. Yep. Why that term is up? Yep. Thank uh, you. And the ad board. Even. Thank you. So, any other public access? All right. No, nope. Ken's going to go someplace else. All right. Good. So we're going to move to CM CMRPC consultant contract. And again, this is something where we need to move forward um, and, and again something that Linda has reviewed so uh, I would propose that we move forward with it tonight um, to entertain a motion to allow the chair to sign the CMRPC contract proposal for the scope of services to serve as consultants for the planning board. Well I'll make a motion that the vice chair sign on behalf of the board. So and I only turn to and and Sharon's giving us the nod that Linda actually has to. Oh, has she does, to it does have to be the. the, yep. the chair. So so we we are motioning that we, we are author, authorizing the chair to sign as soon as the chair is able to I'll come. Sign. All okay. right. All right. That's the we motion. We can do that. I will I will amend my motion to reflect the the chair. All right, and then I will second that. Any other discussion on that motion? Seeing none. Those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. And those opposed, no one's opposed, so therefore that passes. So that's taking care of that. All right, next on the list. Again, something we need to do is that we have a bid. Uh, there was one bidder pre-qualified to uh, the uh, seal coating incorporated from Ranty Tree for, with a bid of uh, $8.53 a gallon and it converts to $4.19 a yard. And so with that, <clears throat> I had offer that we entertain a motion to award the bid to road material, uh, bid of road materials to Seal Coating Incorporated Brain Tree Mass for, for $8.53 a gallon, which converts to $4.19 a square yard. We have that motion. And I'm seconding. And any other discussion on that motion? Seeing none, those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. And those opposed signify by saying no. And those opposed, motion passes. All right, takes care of that. Okay, wage authorizations. Linda did review that earlier today as a part of the personnel board, so I feel comfortable that we can make this motion this evening uh, to authorize the uh, signing of the wage authorizations for FY18. So with that, 
Um, I'd, let, I'd entertain a motion for, and now, Karen, did you want us to do by department or just well, the whole list? Well, Linda said that they decided what they did today when they went to the personnel board to make it easy for themselves to, and she suggested you do it, is read out the departments if anyone has any questions and you can go line by one. Okay, all right. If you want to initially read about this department, it's like that. All right, so, so I'm going to read off what's included in this folder. So the authorizations include the accountant, treasurer, uh, treasurer department, uh, the town clerk, the, uh, admin assistant, municipal clerks, wiring inspector, plumbing inspector, building inspector, um, zoning enforcement officer, uh, animal control officer, assistant to the animal control officer, assessor's department, water department, highway department, emergency squad, police department, library, cemetery department, elections, transfer station, and conservation commission secretary. So a motion to that effect? I'll make a motion. A second. Any further discussion? Seeing none. Those in favor of the motion to give say aye. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to have to go yeah. through it. And, and aye. Anybody and aye. And no one's opposed, so therefore motion passes, and we need to end up ending up signing away. Signing away. Let me see what we can do while you start to sign. Page transfers. Okay, so let's go. This will take some time. You mentioned the school. Is the school on there too? No. That's separate? And I would imagine the school committee has to do that. So what I'll do is I'll keep a clean place here. Okay. Uh, oh, it's the whole department. Yeah, I missed the those. Department together, so I'll give it back to you.
sudah Library trustees voted and approved to reestablish their signing authority for library personnel at their Wednesday, June 14th meeting. The duties and responsibilities of the governing board, board is legally responsible for administrative policy making in such areas as budget, personnel, and contracts as specified by state law. Excellent. So they have taken care of their own wage authorizations. That's probably similar to David's question about the schools. Well, they, I think they do that every year. Oh, do they? I believe they do. Okay. I mean, they were consistent with what we had voted at town meeting, so it's of no, you know, particular concern. Arbitration. Arbitration. So that one's, there's nothing for us to do? Yeah, there's nothing for us to do, actually, with all of those. All we can start that packet. All right. There's some smaller ones here. Sorry for all of the... Yeah. All right. And Peter doesn't have his because I think he's working with that straight out of the figures for the wage authorizations. There was, there was no straightening it out for the hourly wages. The only thing that was required was we're going to have to probably, depending on what the scale of actual calls are, we're going to need to monitor the first quarter of expenditures. But that shouldn't change with the wage authorization. Well, I know the first, I happen to be in the personnel board was looking for the uh, wage authorizations. And I know he had said that it couldn't happen yet. Uh, so I'm going to Could you email him, please? You get to do that all by yourself. Can home, though, or come back and do that. I can come back and do this at my much. leisure. Yeah. And I was wondering, the, I know that we wanted to hold off um, yes. on, on any that we have like more than enough people, but I think there's a couple of smaller committees, like the Town Hall Improvement Committee, 
where we were going to establish that. And I don't know that we have a full committee four, anyway. Four which, which I think would be enough to at least, yeah. which it would be enough to at least establish the committee. No, I, I would prefer we talk for appointments on Thursday. Right, no, not now. Yes, oh, yes yeah. please. Please, okay. yeah. Well, yeah. could you also add to that list the open space and recreation? Um, they're, the folks that have volunteered are just going to help set up to make sure we'll get the right people. But I see some quizzical looks in the in the audience. We're holding up. Oh, oh, sorry. Come on up. Come on oh. up. This isn't like a church. You can have the front row. <laughs> that, that, my church is going to be more chairs back here. Uh, exactly. Uh, come, come on. And they better be empty, too. Come on. Uh, come on. So what we were saying is that we, we had originally planned on doing appointments tonight, but because we're missing the chair, we're not going to actually do the appointments until Thursday. So our apologies if that's why you're here today. So. Two days from now. Two, here two, again. Here yeah, again. Here at six thirty, and, and really the the only topic, the main topic will be the appointments. So, we didn't want to leave uh, our chair out of the whole discussion around the appointments. So. No. No. Whoa. It's just this is about as crowded as the select board meetings generally are. So people who are getting the appointments they don't show up. Frequently, they don't. No. Nope. Well, I didn't even know what I was supposed to announce. Okay. Right. So oh, right. So and 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 if you wanted to like introduce yourself, that would be yeah, fine well. because right now. Yeah. Sure. sure. Hi, sure. I'm Maureen Maria. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> say, say hi, Sharon. Hi, I'm Maureen. Maria. <laughs> Maureen, I've seen your your resume. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Very, oh. very much appreciate you volunteering. Very yeah. much. Very much. Thank you. Yes. I don't know if you want me, but I can, you know, if I can offer you, anything I you, know. You have some background that's important. Yeah, you have a very strong financial background, which is I really do. exciting. Yeah. I do. Excellent. So. Don't mind us. We have set things that yeah. we can do without the chair, and we're going to try to be as efficient as we can, can. to support her. Unfortunately, she had a family emergency yeah. that she had to attend to. Sorry, I suggested to her that Desenberg consider this lesson meeting once in a while. So you know what's going on. Absolutely. This is my second one, so. Not bad, not bad. We do the best we can. Sharon, I hope you have some uh, marching music or something that'll <laughs> for the video. Uh, Some would think I'm one of those characters as well, so not to worry. That's okay. 
I keep threatening the league to change my name legally to just Beth. All right, so I think we got those. You can keep talking and I'll keep deciding. I could do stand up. Maybe. Okay, so I'm going to double check these. Yep. Do one thing successfully tonight. All right, moving off to agenda topic number number six: uh, municipal wage transfers. Wage transfers. We didn't do that, so we can do this. I'd entertain a motion to sign the following municipal transfers. So. If you hand them to me, I'll make the motions by a transfer. Go for it. Okay. I'd like to make a motion that we transfer the amount of $10,109.87 from the town accountant, uh, tr accounting clerk, uh, account number 001135 to account uh, audit. Uh, 001 135 5205 000. Make the, uh, you you made, made the it. motion and I'm seconding it. Okay. And I think there's another one there. What, what, oh, you want to do it? Okay, yeah. all right. So that those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All those opposed? Motion passes. But that's the first one. I'd like to make a motion that we transfer the amount of uh, $2,260 from the seasonal account 001-422-5110-006 to the highway operator account 001-422-511-10001. I'll second that. Those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. Okay, I'd like to make the motion uh, that we transfer the sum of $1,425 from the Flagger Police Detail Account 001-422-511-0005 to the Administrative Assistance Salary Account 001-422-511-0005. I'll second that. Those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. opposed. Motion passes. And we got a little bit more done tonight. We did. All right. So, next on the list is the FY18 appointments. And again, we'd look to hold that. We have, in fact, uh, posted a meeting for 6 30 on Thursday evening, same time, same place on Thursday uh, to, to act upon the appointments. And the only thing I would say is that if the family emergency continues, we will look to schedule it so that uh, uh, the chair can be present. And with that, item number eight on the agenda is a discussion around July 4th holiday. And again, Karen, I would propose that we hold that till Thursday as well. And then item nine is other. Okay, so that's that. We have other, and we have an opportunity. Uh, we voted at town meeting to purchase a uh, new truck, uh, and with that, we have located a truck. 
uh, for purchase. And with that, I'd entertain a motion to allow the highway department to purchase a Ford 2017 450 from MHQ of Marlboro, Mass. for a total of $45,649. Do you have that motion? And I have a second. Any discussion? With that, those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. And is that the only thing in here, Karen? It doesn't look like it. That, that was it? Okay, that's the rest of that. All right, so with that, unless there is something else that needs to come before us, once, twice, sold, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. Um, uh, unless there's something can that's... We, can we go into executive... Is the executive session is listed. Is it one of the, it's under one of those? It is, one, it is under that. It's, um, if you give me the list well, of executives, she, she it's for, it's for the contract negotiations. Ooh, okay. All right, we can do that. So I'd like to make a motion that we go into executive session and that we uh, that we'll reconvene an open session solely for the purposes of adjourning the meeting. And that would be number three. Yeah, yep. it is number three. Yeah. under number three. All right. So we have a motion. Uh, Snyder, I. Coughlin, I. And so that we, with that we will adjourn, and then we'll only come back here to leave. Thank you very much Thank for you. joining us. We'll trust that you left. Okay, <laughs> right. Fair enough. Thank you. Thank you.